Biden into Rhode Island a few weeks ago with my wife Susan, who's a teacher. And on the education piece, we're just getting started. We are going to make sure that every student in the state of Rhode Island reaches their potential, and by 2030, we will meet or exceed Massachusetts levels on education. And we're just getting started. I got a, uh, a, uh, an email from someone last night, and they said, think about your journey. Think about what brought you to the podium tonight. And it was one of my friends from the other side of the aisle. And I said, you know, we're gonna bring people together in this state of Rhode Island like we've never seen before, and we're gonna achieve levels that we only have dreamed of in the past. And I did think about what brought me to this moment in time. And I thought about exactly what you think about, your family. My dad, I'm wearing his tie tonight. My dad died in 1982, 86, but he's with me here tonight. And I think of my mom. I think of my mom, and everybody knows my mom. Everybody knows my mom. And I took the numbers tonight at my house with my mom, and she was thrilled. And she wanted to say hello to everybody. But I think of my wife, Susan. And I think, I think of my son, Matthew, his wife, Laura, and the granddaughter that we're going to be having in uh, February of this year. And I think about my daughter, Kara. But you, just like you, you think of your family. And what I think of is, as governor, what can I do to help your family reach your goals? And I think about what we can do and what we've achieved over the last 20 months. Taking this state from the worst vaccinated state in the country to the very best. Reopening our economy faster than anywhere else in the Northeast. Second in the country. We have, over the summer, we had the lowest unemployment rate in the history of the state of Rhode Island. There's still good paying jobs left. And the reason there's good paying jobs left is because we have put in motion projects around the state of Rhode Island that are gonna provide what we need, which is J-O-B-S for everybody out there. Whether it's in Galilee, whether it's in Galilee with our fisheries, whether it's in East Providence with an offshore wind or a music venue, whether it's in Providence turning on the lights of the Superman building, building a health lab, the list goes on and on and we're not turning our back on the city of Pawtucket, I can tell you that right now. So I think about what you think about. I think about living in a state of Rhode Island where there's opportunity for each and every person that lives in each and every community, all 39 cities and towns. And then the first thing I did as governor was to call municipal leaders, and I see many of them here tonight, and I asked them for their flag. And we put that flag right in the rotunda, 39 flags in the rotunda of the State House. And when I walk by those flags with people I know, I say, those are the people who sent us to the State House to do a job. And we're going to get, we're going to get that job done. And we're just getting started. But let's celebrate tonight a victory. We don't celebrate our victories enough. Tonight, let's celebrate this victory. Tomorrow, let's get to work, and let's make sure that we do what we need to do to bring the state to a level that we've never seen before, because we have momentum like we've never seen before in the state, and we're gonna keep it, and we're just getting started. Thank you so much, everybody.